Morning Prayer on Friday the 9th of September O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. May Christ, the true, the only light, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we ref- awake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Today's psalm is 139. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make my grave, the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh God, that the bloodthirsty might depart from me. They speak against you with evil intent. Your enemies take up your name for evil. Do not I oppose those who oppose you? Do I not abhor those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They've become my enemies also. Search me out, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there's any wickedness, way of wickedness in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen.
The New Testament reading is in Acts chapter 10 and verses 1 to 16. In Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of the Italian cohort, as it was called. He was a devout man who feared God with all his household. He gave alms generously to the people and prayed constantly to God. One afternoon at about three o'clock, he had a vision in which he clearly saw an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. He stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? He answered, Your prayers and your alms have ascended as a memorial before God. Now send men to Joppa for a certain Simon who is called Peter. He is lodging with Simon a tanner, whose house is by the seaside. When the angel who spoke to him had left, he called two of his slaves and a devout soldier from the ranks of those who served him, and after telling them everything, he sent them to Joppa. About noon the next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat, and while it was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw the heaven opened and something like a large sheet coming down, being lowered to the ground by its four corners. In it were all kinds of four-footed creatures and reptiles and birds of the air. Then he heard a voice saying, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, By no means, Lord, for I've never eaten anything that is profane or unclean. And the voice said to him again a second time, What God has made clean, you must not call profane. This happened three times, and the thing was suddenly taken up to heaven. We'll pause a while and go over that story again in our own minds. Now let's respond to God with a song of praise that is taken from Revelation chapter 4 and chapter 5. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise forever. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and nation and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, Be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. So let us pray. pray today, Lord, for the things that we will do, the people that we will see and speak to on the phone or in person. 
and the other communications, perhaps by email or text, that come in and that we'll respond to. Lord, please refresh us with your spirit so that we may love all those who we encounter in any way, being totally open to receiving them as you have received us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. pray today, Lord, for the government of this country, the new government, the new cabinet and new prime minister. Pray for godly wisdom to prevail and rule in their hearts and minds to your glory that your will may be done in our land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are working for reconciliation, for all those people in charities and in positions um, sent by their governments who have the task and who also have the heart and the vision to bring peace and understanding. Lord, we pray that you will bless their efforts abundantly and that you will inspire them and give them new insights. Lord, may your spirit be very present in all that is done and said in the name of peace. Let's bring before God any particular situation that is on our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And finally, let's remember before God individuals that we care about bringing their needs to God right now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The prayer for today. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.